Hi, I'm Lisa Johnson, Assistant Professor with College Education at Ashford University. And what you're about to see is a little bit of information about a conceptual framework for instructive feedback that's represented by the acronym HOPE, Helpful, Optimistic, Proactive, and Expert. And what we'd like for you to do is consider this as a conceptual framework as you're giving feedback in your classes. It's certainly not a process model. It's not going to tell you what to say to students, but it's going to give you a framework for thinking about the kinds of feedback you give to students because we always want to have our students think further. We want them to rework their ideas and know how they're doing well as well as areas they can improve. And so the next couple of slides that you're going to see with the narration by me about HOPE, we hope will inspire you to give more effective feedback in all of your interactions with students. HOPE, a framework for instructive feedback, is a conceptual framework to guide educators with feedback interactions. The components of HOPE are helpful, optimistic, proactive, and expert, and these together can help guide you toward more instructive feedback. As a framework for instructive feedback, helpful, optimistic, and proactive and expert can be explained as follows. Instructive feedback is effective when it communicates helpful guidance for learners about skills and knowledge, including critical thinking, to enhance current and especially future activities. Instructive feedback is effective when it communicates an optimism towards improvement of current and future activities with a balanced perspective of areas of strength in addition to areas of need. And it's proactive when it proactively communicates by focusing on positive outcomes from current activities while suggesting areas and resources for enhancing future activities. And finally, instructive feedback is effective when it communicates the expertise of the educator as instructional guide while also referencing, when applicable, other expert opinions and research on the topic of the activity being assessed. So where is HOPE applied? Because HOPE is a conceptual framework for instructive feedback, it might apply any place feedback is shared, including email communications. Instructive feedback is most often found in engagement with learners within discussion interaction and evaluation, assignment explanation and evaluation, any time when conveying and reinforcing faculty expectations, and can be found also in announcements. When applying HOPE, consider the components. Helpful, optimistic, proactive, and expert feedback helps your feedback to be more instructive. And finally, some ideas for applying HOPE include that helpful feedback will include reiterating expectations conveyed in the faculty expectations as well as providing additional resources and ideas for further thought. It's optimistic when it's characterized by specific statements explaining to a learner how their participation or submission was distinguished as well as how improvements might be made based on existing successes. Proactive feedback includes reference to rubrics that inform learners about what distinguished performance is characterized to encourage improvements for future activities. Being proactive in feedback means being aware of what comes next in a course or even a program and perhaps real-world applications of learning too. And expert feedback is characterized by questions that encourage further explanation or critical thought by the instructor referencing specific personal, professional, or literature-based examples. Can you think of other ways to apply hope?